Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 13th, 14th, and 15th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Aries. Hello, my Aries. Well, you know, this is the weekend reading, so I'm using two Radley Valentine decks. One is my Angel Tarot cards. The other is my Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember... This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So the only thing really that um, is, you know, everything's going on. We've talked about that. I've posted things on my um, community page and also uh, Facebook. But the main thing is Friday the 13th. But you know what? I've always thought of that as a lucky day for me. So I hope that I can share that luck with you. Remember, I am an intuitive channeler, so that means that my spirit guide, higher power, basically speaks through me. I open myself up and just let whatever come out. And I always know that the message will get to whoever needed to hear this. So, let's see one more time. What is going on, going on for the weekend for my Aries? One, two, and three. Three cards face down. The third one is reversed. Reverse cards to me mean, hey, pay attention, okay? A little stronger meaning. First card for my Aries is the two of water. So this is all about, okay, relationships. Now, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, emotions, fluids. This is about coming together. This is you bringing, I, you know, this is you bringing in that relationship that is extremely passionate to you. Now, remember to me, relationships doesn't necessarily mean that it's the intimate or the personal, but it could, okay? But it could also be something to do with your work, job, career, or it could be something to do with family. So that's how I read relationships type of, type of energy. But this is relationship type of energy. It's fluid energy. It's very... Um, it, it, it's very engaged energy right now. So I don't know if this means you're going to be working on work projects, working on school projects. Um, I don't know, somebody with school getting ready for maybe your finals type of thing. But it's very, it's that type of energy. It's positive energy, though. It's not necessarily that it's easy energy, and because it's not. It's not easy energy that I'm picking up right now that I'm getting... It's not easy. You have to work within it, okay? I'm not going to say work for it, but work within it, within the relationship. So that means, my Aries, you may have to, you know, there might be some time where your temper might kind of go up a little bit. So you're going to have to kind of, I don't, I'm not going to say suppress it, because when you suppress it, it usually, you know, not per se you, but just suppressing temp, um, tempers can make it explode. You need to kind of dissipate it and move it somewhere else, Okay. Take it and throw it in, take it and make it something that you just have higher energy towards, okay? Turn the negative, if it is even negative, into that positive. So, two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. Next card, the seven of fire, your energy again. So this is all, this is again, seven is the days of the week, days of creation. You know, it's a cyclical type of energy. So it's like once it gets done, it starts over again. So this is never something that you will, you will like just say, oh, here we had this, you know, remember that weekend? Wow, that was when Aries really, I don't know, um, I'm going to say kind of, you know, um, became, was really very forceful. No, this is something that comes back to you. You know, you have to, it seems for you that you have to come back to this point. I don't know, every, it seems like four to six weeks or maybe seven weeks since this is a seven. But this is about defending your beliefs. This is standing your ground. This is, you know, choosing battles wisely. This is you, you know, again, you know, this is you standing in your power, but also standing in your belief system too. And again, it has something to do with your relationships, okay? And again, it could be your work. It could be intimate, but I really don't feel... It could be family. You know, I don't always talk about family as much, 
but it could be family and family structure also. So, your last card, this is the one that's reversed. Here we go. Release. Okay, really strong energy. Archangel, power, tar power tarot, major arcana type of thing. This is, you know, end of a phase situation, time to move on, spiritual transformation. Oh, I didn't, basically I didn't read this one, but it's defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So I, I did say it. But this is about, okay, so... <clears throat> I did tell you about how with this, you know, about temper per se, and it's not that you're even angry. It's just that you want to almost kind of like say, you know, you want to take the person and or the situation and say, why don't you understand? Why don't you just get it? Um, you know, it's kind of like letting the penny drop. And it's like, come on, let the penny drop. Okay. So with this, you know, and I said about how you have to dissipate. It has to dissipate that energy. Um, you know, yes, you have to stand firm, but with this one, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Again, this weekend, it's like, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in that, the temper. Let that go because that will be a really big block to you if you get stuck in it. And I don't see you like throwing a temper tantrum, anything like that, but it's kind of like, I feel like there's this impatience. And if you you know, take some deep breaths, let it out, take some deep breaths, count to 10, whatever it is you need, because it will keep you where you're at and you need to be able to move forward because this energy is an energy for you to move it forward, okay? Oh, that, okay. Because the end of the phase or situation, it has to move forward. It has to move forward. So probably more with, you know, with work, eh, but it could be with family too, okay? Time to move on, time to move this forward. So it could also mean too, with the, if this is an intimate relationship, maybe you need to take this relationship to that next step. Okay, let's go on. My Archangel Power Tarot cards, one card for you. Let's see. Okay, one card, let's uh, cut. This card is reversed, so. And here we have the king of Raphael, okay? Water energy again, um, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, again, king of Raphael is warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it's safe to trust, the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. I feel that this is, you know, you, you know, just, okay, sometimes the cards, you know, sometimes spirit will give me like these big major, um, you know, revelations. In this one, it may seem like these are smaller little steps, but these smaller little steps lead to a bigger step for you, okay? So by you doing these things that I'm telling you to do, yes, you do have to defend your beliefs, you do, but again, holding your, you know, and again, the temper isn't so much anger. It's more, you know, why don't you, why can't, you know, it's almost a frustration with yourself, okay? So, it, but it's like, as you learn this, and as you move forward, and as you move this relationship forward, it actually helps you, you know, in the longer run, okay? Okay, a little bit more on the, you know, it, it's not necessarily as pinpointed, I can't, you know, new jobs, yes, okay, all these wonderful, you know, rarely, really concrete type of energies, it's more moving you forward in little steps, which will at the end, you know, at the end of the weekend, end of the week, become a bigger step. And it's more about, um, it's more about emotional development too. Wow. Interesting energy for you. Move it forward, my Aries. It's all good. It's all good. So, my Aries, if you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell, and as always, my Aries, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.